Welcome to simplefinancesupport.com. In this session, I would be extending the business partner which is created earlier to a company code. Okay, let me remove here the search box. And uh, this particular vendor is already created at the role BP0000, which is a business partner general. So I'm just selecting a FI vendor role. The moment I select the vendor role, the company code comes here and uh, explained earlier. So then I'm going ahead and uh, entering the company code information. So before entering the company code information, it is asking for zip code details. So I'm entering here. Yes. And the company code here. So I'm like entering 1710. So the moment I enter the company code information, the fields which are related to reconciliation account, see here, uh, which is a required information for any company code to be posted to this vendor. So that is the reason this reconciliation account is being asked here. And uh, then I'm selecting a reconciliation account here. So let's take uh, of the reconciliation account let's say trade payables and uh, so if you carefully observe some of the fields can be enabled required entries based on the company code settings so in this case uh, you know the reconciliation account is uh, mandatory of course this mandatory or optional fields are enabled at the bp role level itself so based on the bp role uh, we can enable what kind of information uh, is optional or available for so I'm going ahead uh, and looking at some other fields which are there at uh, company code level for example payment terms I'm entering the payment terms here so any payments which are there you can enter here so any or other information which is related to the vendor so again I think you can understand all the other information easily uh, and the traditional fields such as uh, check double in double invoice and the kind of information is available here in this case so apart from all this like you know and if you want this information to be created in some other company code you can switch the company code also here so let's go here and save this the moment you say if you observe this vendor is created at the company code level also that vendor number which is at the company code level is coming here as same number that is there in BP Again, as I explained earlier so this number can be different from the number which is BP but in these uh, settings that I made uh, in such a way that uh, the BP number and the vendor number are synchronized automatically okay so this uh, this way you are extending this vendor uh, which is the BP business partner to uh, the FI level itself okay in uh, next session I would uh, cover how you create a vendor at uh, purchase organization details also thanks for watching